benefited from your services here immensely. And I would say, not only have you been treating the people of Zanzibar, but you went beyond treatment. You provided us with medical equipment. You provided us with medicines. You even built the capacity of our staff. So for all of this, we are indeed very thankful. Dr. Mwinyi ametoa shukrani hizo alipozungumza na timu ya madaktari kutoka China waleo maliza muda wao wa kazi baada ya kuwepo nchini na kufanya kazi katika hospitali mbalimbali mbali kwa kipindi cha mwaka mmoja. Amesema tangu mapinduzi ya mwaka 1964, China imeendelea kuisaidia Zanzibar katika sekta za kiuchumi na kijamii ikiwemo sekta za afya, hasa katika uimarishaji wa miundombinu, upatikanaji wa vifaa dawa pamoja na kuwajengea uwezo wa tendaji wa sekta hizo been with us in the fight against covid we have been receiving a lot of assistance from china particularly when it comes to donation of vaccines we have received vaccine vaccines which we have used to cover those who are in the front line against the disease Mapema waziri wa afya jinsia na watoto Mheshimiwa Nasr Ahmed Mazrui amesema jamii haiwezi kuzungumzia historia ya Zanzibar bila kutaja mchango mkubwa wa serikali ya Jamhuri ya Watu wa China katika sekta mbalimbali mbali kama kilimo, viwanda, miundombinu na afya. Alisema timu ya madaktari kutoka China iliyomaliza muda wake wa kazi nchini katika hospitali ya Rufaa ya Mnazi mmoja pamoja na Abdullah Mzee Kiswani Pemba imefanya kazi kwa ufanisi mkubwa kwa kuwapatia wananchi huduma bora sambamba na kuwajengea uwezo wa kiutendaji madaktari wa Zalindo. We cannot talk about history of Zanzibar without mentioning inputs from the people of China. In terms of health from 1964 to date we have doctors who are here with us day and night working tirelessly and very efficiently. Naibalozi mdogo wa China aliyepo Zanzibar Zhang Zisheng amesema timu ya madaktari hao kutoka China inafanya kazi chini ya miongozo ya serikali ya China ambapo katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja imefanya kazi katika hospitali za mnazi mmoja Abdullah Mzee Kivunge na Chake Chake. They often sacrificed their weekend to go to remote villages to serve the poor people who uh, were not able to travel to the cities. Kwa upande wake, kiongozi mkuu wa madaktari kutoka China, Dr. Wang Yiming, ameeleza kuwa katika kipindi chote walichokuwepo, walifanya kazi bega kwa bega na madaktari wa Zalendo na hivyo kufanikiwa kushinda changamoto mbalimbali mbali zilizopo. We are the service team. During our service, we have experienced several round of COVID-19 pandemic attacks. We did not back down. Instead, we worked side by side with colleagues in the hospital to confront challenges. Katika hafla hiyo, Dr. Mwinyi amekabidhi zawadi kwa balozi mdogo wa China aliyepo Zanzibar, Zhang Zisheng, pamoja na kwa vika nishani madaktari hao. Nikiripoti, mimi ni Masudi Juma.